Hi, this is Lars Wallin with a quick, hopefully, tutorial on uh, Simplex RPC, which is my uh, uh, second snippet and contribution to Modix. Simplex RPC is uh, simply a, a JSON RPC implementation for Modix, which makes it really easy to uh, make Ajax kind of queries uh, to uh, uh, Modix. Um, it's not limited to what we refer to as Ajax, but you can use it as inter-system communication uh, if you want to. That's basically what uh, the JSON RPC uh, protocol or standard is for anyway. So let's start by explaining, uh, first of all, JSON RPC. It's a simple concept enough, but Sim uh, JSON RPC is really a sister specification of uh, XML RPC, which has been around since about 98 or something. RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call, which is uh, basically a remote procedure call is when you, from one system, make a, a method call basically to a remote machine could be anywhere it could be in the local network or anywhere it's now nowadays we call it uh, uh, service oriented architecture basically um, uh, so this is what you will find in the RPC JSON RPC standard you have a request and you have a response you also have error messages and there's a uh, also one uh, specification for just sending signals but uh, this is what we're using anyway in in the simplex snippet uh, the request is uh, has a bunch of mandatory fields first of all the json rpc uh, field which has a key which says uh, states that it's uh, json rpc and we have a value which uh, states the version of the rpc protocol in this case it's 2.2 Oh, we have the ID of the message, which will be matched to the response. So we can actually uh, see that we don't mix uh, requests and response if you make many queries. And you have the method which you uh, want to call on the remote machine. And in this case, uh, I want to use get resources, the fine little snippet in Modix. You have a bunch of para parameters. Uh, if you've used get resources you will find them uh, uh, familiar it's parents template template first last and then you have output separator if we make this uh, request we could uh, expect something in the lines of this response you have first of all still uh, you know matching uh, RPC version <laughs> and you have the matching ID and instead of method and params, you have uh, result. And this little bracket here tells us that it's uh, an array of results. And each uh, item in the list is a JSON collection of uh, keys and values. So this is the RPC standard. Uh, it looks like this. It's uh, very close to what XML RPC looks like. It's just in in JSON, of course. Uh, <coughs> the simplex message, uh, which wraps the the RPC JSON RPC message, is very simple as well. It just gives some basic instructions uh, to the the uh, <laughs> sorry, it gives basic instructions to the client script. Um, this is only used when you use the client script, which I've uh, made. Uh, for the, uh, the, the sample in this examples template. Um, we first of all tell everybody which URL to use uh, to our Modic site. This is my uh, IP number and you have the page ID here. You have use snippet matching which I suggest you put to true which is one. Uh, there's more on the uh, text, in the text, on the examples page on this. And then you have this RPC uh, 
key which holds the whole JSON uh, contents of the JSON RPC uh, message. So, a last word on security because it's a big thing here. Uh, because we're using uh, snippets and we're using, uh, as you will soon see, a, 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 a resource for uh, as kind of entry point. Uh, we can use Modex access control lists to uh, uh, control who can actually use uh, different kinds of uh, backend snippets, which we use, uh, which we call using XML RPC. And uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, you know uh, controls being made. First of all, you have the Modex request which uh, checks if if the user logged in uh, is logged in and if he or she actually can you know use modex in any way and then you have the possibility to to set acls on uh, snippet level on the simplex rpc snippets and then of course you can use also acls to to control which uh, snippets that simplex in turn can actually uh, get data from or you know perform stuff using okay enough on this um, when you install the snippet using package management you get first of all a, a category called simplex rpc and you get two templates which will be used for uh, one for actually accessing the uh, the rpc snippets it's kind of a entry point as I mentioned before, this is actually what we have here. It's empty except for the the snippet call. Uh, we have the examples uh, template, which is uh, fully loaded with uh, cool stuff like the console, which I will show you in a bit, and stuff. We get a bunch of chunks. One of which is the um, the client scripts, which will help you a great deal if you are uh, want to use this uh, snippet to make Aj Ajax queries from the from the client and of course you get the actual snippet so to get this working um, you need to create two new resources one will be the uh, a resource which is completely empty void of contents um, and you the only thing you really need to care about is that you choose the RPC template um, and make a note of the ID because we will use this uh, in our query later. You can name it anything you want to. And then make another resource and just uh, assign the examples template and make note of the ID. When uh, you're done, uh, you've done this and saved, you're ready to go. And if you go into the page uh, or to which you assign the examples template. In my case, it was seven. Uh, you get this, and with a whole bunch of uh, sentences and paragraphs that will tell you how to use the the snippets. But well, I think we'll go straight to the good stuff, which is this one, the uh, console. The first thing you see is rendered results. Hmm strange we haven't really configured where to send the query so why does it uh, display results well because if you click on the query config you can see that we're using something that I've called dummy response which is if you don't have access to uh, to the modex site you can still play around with this and see you know use the template engine to to skin stuff and so forth uh, if we just remove this, the dummy response, all the way down to RPC here, uh, it looks exactly like the uh, the example which I showed you before in, in Inkscape, except for that we need to change the address, of course, to the site. So, modex, voila. Page ID five, use snippet matching. Yes, page ID five is, by the way, the <laughs> the resource uh, ID for the resource where we 
uh, to which we assigned uh, the simplex RPC uh, template. And as you can see, it's get resources still, nothing has changed. So now we're ready to apply this and let's see what happens. Well, 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 looky, looky. We have a bunch of documents here. And what do you know? It's the same list as we can find on the back end. Hmm. Very good. So what happened now was that uh, we sent um, this, actually, this query, the JSON RPC call, to modex, to the resource with ID 5, and the snippet worked out um, which method to call, which snippet to call, and uh, then just uh, threw back at us the result of uh, rendered from that snippet. Um, and we have this very, very nice template engine included, which is the jQuery, new jQuery standard uh, core template en engine, which is pretty neat, actually. It matches each result and uh, just outputs, templates the uh, each item in the in the list and uh, on the client side and makes us uh, it makes it possible to make really nice widgets so let's just uh, see what happens if we take uh, let's border it order one pixel solid let's stick with grayish stuff so when we apply this ta -da! we have a border around our results so you can see you can just play around with this and you know make your own uh, widgets and stuff to show um, on the site um, another really important stuff is the JSON results uh, section it's uh, very handy to see what actually uh, was returned to you this is what was returned from uh, snippets as you can see, it's the JSON RPC result uh, exactly as it looked in uh, in the previous example that I showed you in Inkscape. So, an, a new thingy in 0.6 is error handling. So if we take, for example, and remove this S, so it's just get resource. I don't have any snippets, as far as I know, uh, which is called get resource. Let's see what happens. Aha! We get an error. Procedure not found. Well, well, well. And we can also match it, of course, to the ID of the uh, of the actual call. So that's basically it. You can do anything you want with this. Actually, you can you can you know send um, uh, procedure calls to update a page with form data. You could. Uh, remove stuff add stuff <laughs> update stuff just just view stuff it's basically a, a really really powerful uh, way to to uh, yeah do ajax stuff uh, and it's uh, i think it's really really easy anyway uh, remember to use the access controls uh, for goodness sake so you don't um, screw up in that department because uh, you know once you've opened this uh, portal oh. you really want to make sure that you have a gatekeeper who keeps you know evil people out of your snippets so thank you so much for watching let's switch off over to my very very nice opening screen Ta -da! so that was all for me and uh, just post stuff on the forum if you're uh, interested in having discussions on on upcoming, uh, you know, features and stuff. So thanks for watching and bye bye.